This is Mishnah Brachot, Perak Aleph, Mishnah Aleph. The Mishnah begins, Me'ematai Korin et Shmava Arvit. I'm starting with a bit of an unusual uh, Aramaic word inserted into the Mishnah. Me'ematai Mimatai, from when? Korin et Shma Be'arvit. What's the earliest time to say the Shma, the nighttime Shma? As part of Marav, we say Shma every day. Um, the mitzvah of B'shach B'chav Kamecha to say Shema every night. When, is, the Mishnah asks, is the earliest time to say Shema? The Mishnah answers, Misha'ah she'hakohanim nichnasim le'achol b'trumatan. From the time that the Kohanim go and eat their truma. Here the Mishnah tries to insert a little general knowledge of halacha um, by describing this time as a time that Kohanim eat the truma. When do Kohanim eat the truma? This refers to a Kohen which is Tameh. A Kohen who is Tameh is not allowed to eat truma until he becomes Tahor. The way he becomes Tahor is to go to the mikvah and to wait for nightfall, to wait to say to HaKochavim. That time, Tzayt HaKochavim, is the earliest time to say Kriyat Shema at night. The Mishnah describes it um, by its connection to the Kohanim in order to teach us as an aside, to um, make us aware of this halacha, that a Kohen eats truma also at that same time, Tzedu Kochavim. Ad, until, meaning the latest time to say Shema, Ad Sof HaAshmura HaRishona, until the end of the first Ashmura. The first Ashmura, the first watch of the night, is because the night time was divided into, time periods of night are divided into watches, or Ashmura, um, three Ashmuro, three uh, watches, or three-thirds of the night, until the end of the first third of the night. In other words, if you divide the time from Tzedek HaChavim, from nightfall until the morning, into three, you have the first third for Shema, according to Rabbi Eliezer, Divrei Rabbi Eliezer. V'chachamim omrim ad chatzot. Chachamim say it's until midnight. Chachamim give you more time, not one-third of the night, but half of the night. Rabbi Gamliel Omer, Ad Sheyale Amud Hashachar. Rabbi Gamliel says, until dawn, until the morning light. The morning light is a reference to before sunrise, when the rays of the sun start coming above the horizon. Uh, Amud Hashachar is the dawn. The Mishnah continues. Ma said there was a story that one time Shabau Banav mi Beit Hamishta that Rabbi Gamliel's sons or children came home from a party. Amrulo and they said to their father, Rabbi Gamliel, Lo Karino at Shema, we have not yet said Shema. Apparently this was after midnight. Amar Lahem, he told them, Imlo Allah Amura Shachar Chayavin Atem Lakrot. If the dawn has not come, you're still obligated to say Shema. In other words, you can follow my own position um, that Shema can be said until the morning, until Amun HaShachar. Velo Zubilvad, and not only in this case, Ela kol ma she'amru chachamim an chatzot mitzvatan ad she'yale Amun HaShachar. Rabbi Gamliel seems to be saying, that not only in regards to Shema, but in all regards, whenever the Chachamim say that a mitzvah has to be done by Chatzot, what they really mean is that the mitzvah is until the morning. Um, and, and the Chatzot was just a safeguard to make sure you don't s- fall asleep and miss the mitzvah. And, he con- and the Mishnah continues, Hekter Chalavim Ve'evarim, the burning of the fats and the limbs that were left over from korbanot, which were done the day, the night following the day of the korban, mitzvatan achi yala amurashachar. That could be done until the morning, amurashachar. V'chol ha'nechalim liyom echad. Every korban where the mitzvah is to be eaten for one day, the day and the night that follows it, mitzvatan achi yala amurashachar. That mitzvah to eat is to be performed by Amun HaShachar. This is because when it comes to Karbanot, um, unlike other areas of Halacha, like, like Shabbat, which starts with the night and ends with the day, Karbanot are brought during the day, and the, and the night that follows the day is, that, is part of that same day. So Korban, which is eaten for one day, is eaten for the day that the Korban is brought, and the night following, 
and the entire night following until Amun HaShachar. In Cain, Lama Amru Chachamim Al Chatzos, if that's the case, that whenever Chachamim say Chatzot, they really mean Amun HaShachar, so why do they say Chatzot? That's only as a kazera, as a precaution to distance people from sin, because if they would give you the whole night, it's very easy once chatzot passes to get tired or fall asleep. So whenever the mitzvah is until the morning, they said, you should really try to do it by chatzot. But if you miss chatzot, Ramagam Gamliel was saying, you can still say it until Amur HaShachar.